case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an intriguing 2004 court case, J. Michael McGinnis, a fortunate Oregon State lottery victor, found himself entangled in a legal dispute with the IRS over the nature of his lottery earnings. Winning a staggering $9 million prize, McGinnis thought he found a loophole to higher tax rates by selling his right to future installments for a lump sum. McGinnis cleverly converted his remaining 15 installment payments into a sizable $3,950,000 lump sum by assigning his lottery right to Woodbridge Financial Corporation. Initially, he reported this as capital gain on his tax return. Capital gains typically attract lower taxes than ordinary income, potentially allowing McGinnis a more beneficial tax treatment. However, a twist occurred when McGinnis changed tax gears. He filed a refund claim arguing that rather than being a capital gain, the lump sum constituted ordinary income. This maneuver sparked IRS interest. The tax body initially issued a refund, but later reneged and sued to recover it. The tax semantics debate landed in the courtroom under the gaze of the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The lower court had initially awarded a summary judgment favoring the government, a decision that McGinnis contested. The court's verdict? The appeals court unanimously ruled in favor of the IRS, employing the substitute for ordinary income doctrine. It determined that the lump sum received for the lottery rights was indeed ordinary income. The court pointed out two critical factors. First, McGinnis hadn't invested any capital to win the lottery prize. Second, the sale hadn't created an increase in value of any underlying asset. Essentially, the court decided taxpayers couldn't cleverly convert their regular income into capital gains to dodge higher tax rates. The result was a complete affirmation of the lower court's judgment that classified McGinnis's lottery windfall as ordinary income, marking a compelling victory for tax law clarity. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.